Well, hello, 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 my mad scrappers. I am back with a mail call. And this is, I think it's the last of the craft day, but I'm not betting on it. I think I have to look, because I know I had stuff on, on delay, so on our extended delivery. So I just don't know anymore. I Because I think I have, it depends on what this is. I know I'm pretty sure this is my gnome paper. I think this is my hunky dory. But I'm supposed to be getting Anna Griffin paper as well. So we have to see. We, you know, once I open this, I, you know, I'll tell you because I did order the um, Christmas, the her um, cardstock, the the um, in the Christmas colors as well. So I just don't know. I honestly, I'm kind of at a loss. But I think everything's showing up delivered now. So let's see what this box holds. It oh oh. Ooh, it's not what I expected at all. So no, there's more stuff coming. I think this is the Bethlehem collection. I ordered this. Like you guys already saw the pads, but this is this is the one collection I relented on on craft day. I'm turning this way so everything is this way, which is Bethlehem because it's so so pretty. And last year I bought the Nativity and the Nature's Garden Nativity. So this year I got this because I have no willpower. <laughs> But look how beautiful. I mean, we have a silent night here. And let's see. Let's open this up. I forget now which direction I'm supposed to come from. That allows it to open better without me tearing it apart. Ooh, do, 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 do. I know the easiest way of doing it is to use undo, but I just don't want to take the time to do that now. But look, see, we just take that off and we can live with it. And oh my gosh, I need to take my trash out. It's trash day today. So we're going to do that next. Um... So look at that. We have Silent Night. That's a nice size. Silent Night with a little tiny star for the eye. Is that not awesome? I love it. That's what I would do. I mean, I know you see here it's on the side, but oh no, I would make it the eye. I would be dotting the eye with that star. So, I mean, there's our Silent Night die. And, I, and I'm talking about light and stars. I wanted to show you something. You guys see how nice and bright and wonderful. You will have already seen the video, the reveal on this lamp. You know, you've seen it, direct, but this is my new lamp. But look at the difference. And it's very early in the morning here, overcast. But can you guys see the difference? That is the difference this light makes on my desk. So I, I will have to reiterate that I'm in love with my lamp. Okay, now we have Bearing Gifts. The metal die. So this is a stain. Uh, to me, it screams stained glass and paper piecing, and I'm crazy. But oh my! I mean, all of this. It was like I was, I was, pre I was poised, prepared to not say I'm not gonna get any more collections. Yeah. Well, and then they pulled this one out. I was able to resist the other ones. You know, the snowman was with cute, and I love snowmen. But but this now this yeah. I mean. We have this is gonna be a great. This is perfect for an A2. It's good. It's great for an um, an A7, which is the five by seven. But you can do beautiful paper piecing with this one. It would be nutsoid, but you know when did that ever stop anybody? Right? <laughs> We're gonna have to see. I mean, this is my opinion on conjecture. I'm gonna have to die cut it out to see if that will actually work. But we'll find out. And then the next one is the Blessed Bauble. So we are going to add that to the collection now of ornaments I have. But look how pretty that is. And all it is is the crush. It's the baby Jesus in the crush. So let's just quickly open this up. One of these is bound and determined to make me tear. Really? Oh, there we go. See? I vanqu... Oh, my gosh. Tell me that isn't perfect. Wow. So, we, wow, this is actually bigger than I thought. So, still, look how pretty that is. Wouldn't that look gorgeous? On I would do it blue paper and gold or silver or oh my. And it would make a great card. And if you made it separate and attach a string to it, then the, they could do it and um, keep it as a Christmas ornament. And I would do both sides. I would do the die cut on both sides. Now we have the Celestial Angel. I haven't even used last year's Angel yet. And here I am getting, an, uh, getting another one. But like I said... This was just a beautiful, beautiful collection, and I had to have it. So, there you go. I was unable to resist temptation. Okay, let's get this going. We got that. Yep, there we go. Not too bad, not too bad. Wow, wow. You guys see how big this puppy is? 
This is definitely five by seven. The UK, our UK friends love to make big cards. That is just amazing, but so detailed. Look how beautiful. I mean, look at it again. Look at the detail in that. And it's, it looks like there's some embossing involved. So, ooh, I really want to play with this and figure it out. And this is an easy card. This is a two-step. This is a five-minute Friday card. Tell me it isn't. I might even do it in five minutes, all right? You know, don't put anything past me. Now we have the, this is the, this is um, blah, 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 Little Town of Bethlehem. The layering die, if I'm not wrong. So, I mean, this one's five, and so this is also going to be, well, and you can cut it, or you can do it as a slim line. So, but it does, see, it does the lay, oh my gosh, holy cow, there are a lot of pieces to this. So, let's see, okay, let me see if I can, there we go, not bad again, I'm getting better at this, I'm digging in, and now I can get under the tape. Wow, look at that, those Awesome. Okay, so there, you know, Sarah's giving crafters coming. Mean, excuse me. Um, spellbinders are a run for their money for little pieces, but they're small. But look at them; they're also not. I mean, they're pretty detailed. I mean, you can tell that's a camel, that's a sheep, that's a. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's like almost. It's. I don't know if that's a goat. It looks like a unicorn. I swear, a cow. But you get my drift. Wow. And the family right here. Oh, this is. And then we've got little stars. This is way i mean in its simplest way even done the way they did it here makes an amazing card a silhouette card Ooh, wow see i'm so glad i know i'm really glad i got this because i can i'll have this forever okay and now we have an embossing folder that is really cool again the same theme again this is such a simple card you emboss it you add your sentiment and you're done and sometimes if you're making a lot of cards because you have a very big Christmas list, one and done is great. And you don't have to feel bad. I love making my cards and I tend to make them really, really super detailed because why? I'm insane. Um, and then that's the other problem is because they're so insane. Last year I did a better job of getting Christmas cards done because I picked a simple theme and I got them done fast. Look at that. While I'm yakking, look. Perfect. I know it's the little things that give me joy. And so we have the Bethlehem collection. Look how beautiful. Again, this would be an A7 card, five by seven. But I mean, you could, and this is, I'm thinking it's a 3D. So this is a 3D embossing folder. Does it, yep, 3D embossing folder. Read the instructions, Myra, right? But look how beautiful. I mean, I, the argument could be made. You could do it on white and then color it in. I would do it on beautiful paper. And this collection comes with beautiful paper. And add your sentiment and you are done and you are done so let's put that aside now we're going to go for this is sending joy and here you go here's your simple sentiment for your beautiful cards and that's what you need the let the art the the you know, your stamps or your dies do the speaking for you and now i'm determined to do these and get these separated clean without tearing it so that's my new goal as i waste time on a video with you guys there we go but i did it <laughs> i know crazy it, I'm, I'm i'm also the person that you know sits there and folds up the wrapper when i pull it off a of chewing gum so you know and i roll up my oh you should see me in all the folding things i do with a straw so okay so i'm betting it's going to be a combination here with here maybe but here is joy and i've been wanting a nice joy die cut and now I have it. Really. So this collection, as far as I was concerned, is very, very, very worth it. Worth it, worth it, worth it. I am so happy I got it. And we'll take that little piece off here and I'll set it aside here and then add it to the trash. And now we have our stamps. We have two sets. My God, this, how did I? So I got extras. How interesting is that? Because I didn't order extras, so they got happy packing. So we're going to set these aside because guess, oh, no, 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 they're not extras. They are different. So never mind. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to the mad, hat, the mad scrapper. Mad scrapper doesn't know. So never mind. Let's carry on. Ooh, you didn't see anything. <laughs> oh, God. The madness, I tell you. Okay. And this one is not going to be as pretty as the other ones, but it's opening up very, very nicely. So there we go. Just a little bit. I can always take it off and glue it on, right? Yeah, don't be crazy, Myra. 
Well, no, I am crazy, so that's asking for a lot. And I, I am reminded that I need to get my packing tape from Steve. I haven't gotten it back from yet. Who knows where it is? I'm going to have to go buy a new roll of packing tape so I can make my little flap here for my, my stamps. But look, let me grab a piece of paper real quick. I've moved everything again, and I'll be moving it again, setting up this, um, finishing setting up this desk. I had to finish my, um, move my wrap, my hanging thingies. But here we've got this one. Oh, how pretty. I love the writing. There we go. Christmas blessings from, from our family to your C. Tell me that that would not be perfect to just I cut it and put it right here, right there in the upper corner. Any of these. Love in heaven. And, I mean, peace on earth. There we go. So many. This, again, stamped on the inside in a lighter color, just so you can barely see it to maintain the theme, but at the same time, so you can still write in your card. These are beautiful. These are, they are beautiful. I'm pretty sure these are acrylic. They're acrylic. They don't smell like anything. There's great sadness, but I, you know, we'll see. I, I'm the one I'm concerned about would be this one because we know them what they're not photopolymer, that little teeny tiny writing is a booger butt to make work. I have learned that with Crafter Companion and well, not just them, any acrylic now. It's something I have learned. So we're gonna have to test these out. We'll play with these and see what happens. <clears throat> so let's put this one away. Let's go to the next one. Whoops. Okay, bye-bye, Birdie. Move the piece of paper for a minute. We will look at this one and we'll look at the embossing folder and then we have paper. And guys, we saw another box to open, okay? Just, you know, stating the obvious. I don't know why I'm doing this. I should not be doing this. I should be doing getting the trash out because that trash truck is going to be here soon enough. And I've got to still tear down the box my new desk came in and get it out of the recycling. It's not going to fill in ours because ours is completely full. But I know that our neighbor's is empty and she saw me and said, come and get it. So I'm going to come and get her her trash barrel and fill it with my desk, the box for my desk. Oh my goodness. Do we really care about me straightening this out now? Of course not. So let's stop trying. Okay, so we have these again. More, they gave us a lot of stamps in this collection, and I am uber happy about that. So, I love sending sending Christmas blessings, wishing you a joyous Christmas. All is calm and bright. Unto us a child is born. Perfect. Just a little town of Bethlehem. That would look so cute. Again, stamped it to me, stamped on the inside of the card, even on the inside cover. I would do it on the inside cover of the card opposite the page where we write our, you tap, stamp our sentiment and stamp, um, and then write our, whatever we're going to say, you know, Merry Christmas, love you, bye. <laughs> it's like, you know, especially if you're signing a bunch of cards, it gets crazy. And I do hand sign all my cards. That's it. I think that the least I can do is do that. Okay. So we can get rid of the piece of paper. We'll set that aside. And now we have the last embossing folder and then we'll look at the paper and the paper already looks really cool. Um, I like the color combination. The, as I said, the color way. I don't know where that word, that phrase came from. Obviously, it's a newish term, not something I grew up with. Anybody got any 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 history of color way? How we we where we came with that up uh, come came up with that? Okay, hang on because I am also this one's going to come up with uh, okay with very little tear. And can I, I don't know what, now I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to cut the flap off. I cut now the flap off on all of these and make them fold it. Oh my gosh. This, this is going to be cool. Look at that. It is a cutting and embossing, cut and emboss and folder. So it is not 3D, but it is, ooh, this is going to make some spectacular cards. Again, these are great five and 10 minute cards, quickies. I mean, again, cut it, emboss it, slap it on move on these are these are great they're gonna be great christmas cards oh this is gonna be so so pretty love it okay and now we have the pepa and this i don't know can i will this work like it does the paper pads i don't know no it's not going to so we're just going to take our skizzers that are right here i pulled them out and we're just going to cut our little tape there whoops as i'm doing exactly what i didn't want to do which is tear it because I'm cuckoo that way. <clears throat> and let's see what we've got as far as paper. The colors of the paper, which are, oh, oh, look how pretty already. We got that, um, oh, it's pearlized, pearl paper. So we've got, oh my, oh, maybe I should do it this way. Let's go. So we've got the dark, dark blue. We've got oh, matte gold. We've got glitter gold. And then we've got that teal blue. Oh my goodness. Isn't that just, oh, 
I am really, I should have gotten more. But I think it just came with the collection, so I'm going to have to look. I'll have to check on Craft Stash and see. I just love the color. I don't care about it just being for the collection. I love the colors. So, and there you go. So we're going to put our paper away. So that takes care of the paper collect of the excuse me of this collection so we will set that aside here as well and i need to put that bottle of glitter away and we'll move that paper aside and now let's attack the box i'm going to attack the box from the top let's see if i can get this tool my lovely little amazon tool that steve gave me got me okay all righty grab more I gotta get this all done because the AC is coming in today. This should be a really, really interesting day. The cleaning lady comes today. Um, the AC people are coming in today. And the ladies are taking Nan out for her birthday today. So they're going out to lunch and a little shopping. Um, and there are a bunch, there are a hoot, those ladies. So I'm looking forward to it. And she was like, you know, now I was wondering about going. I mean, she's getting to that age where she just doesn't want to go out to places a lot. They had originally wanted to take her to Laguna. Laguna Beach would have been lovely. It would have been a lovely outing. But it's all, it's an almost it's an hour drive from here. And that was already going to tire her. So she has to keep it local. Oh, yes. Yes. As I'm chittering, chattering. Oh, the teal. This is the teal treasures. When I saw VNA show it, I'm like, I had to have this. I had to have this. It took me a while to actually get my, you know, by the time I said, between have to have this and ordering it was two different things. And of course it sold out everywhere. So Crafter's Companion got more, excuse me, um, HSN got more of it in. So I was able to get it for the sale, you know, for the secret sale. It just, I just had to wait and my patience was paid off. I, you, I had to have it. I mean, teal, teal and butterflies. Tell me if that is not the perfect combination. But look at these toppers. Oh, my God. And here's the crazy. It's going to work. Look, and the papers. Oh, my gosh. Let's let's separate these out. And we'll kind of we'll go through the toppers first and then the papers. I mean, we'll flip these all over. These toppers are breathtaking. And I have not taken notice of Hunky Dory. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm an idiot. And I turned my nose up on it. And I don't know what I was thinking. Because these are just... Look at that. Look at that peacock. The bird. Uh, it, 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 it's just... I'm I'm like, wow. And when I say breathtaking, I'm not just saying it because I want to go on and on about this. I'm saying because I really believe in how beautiful these pieces are. With the foiling... And there, and there's several layers of punch out, if you can tell. I mean, there's here, and then it punches out again here, and it punches out again there, and you've got strips here, and all of these. Oh my gosh. These will make amazing, amazing cards. I must play with these. And then let's look at the papers they sent us, which are cardstock. They're definitely nice and nice cardstock. I mean, you could use these, and I, you could use this on a 12 by 12. You think about it because this is I'm I'm positive it's bigger than my yep it's gonna go the, the all the way so you can use it on a twelve by twelve sheet and use some of your elements and make a breathtaking page or you can cut it up to make cards so let's go through all of these and see what we've got so we have a piano here and then we have oh look how beautiful that is just there it is I believe I'm going to be confirmed that there is no wastage in this paper and here dragonflies. I have a daughter who does. My, Tatiana, my middle daughter, loved or loves dragonflies. Oh, this is her thing. And then we have the bird again. Oh, they're slippery because they're very slick. So, you know, and then they have the foiling on top. So, I love. And we'll be turning this back and forth, I'm sure, more. But there's the little birdie. And now we have those beautiful flowers. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just totally in awe. And then we have the liner paper. It includes liner paper so that you can use these on the inside of your cards. So, and I love the way they did it. They did it on the left side. That is very, very cool. So it leaves you, for whatever size card you make, it leaves you. I love how they did that. So, you know, if you fold it, this is the side. And you, 
This is the side you stamp and sign a sign on. Really, really good. I love this hunky dory. Y'all, I'm a fan. Ah, oh, on the piano. Every one of these is so so pretty. Here are our little dragonflies. So obviously they coordinate with the sheets that co they come with. But they are so beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at the butterflies. Everyone eat. Don't go anywhere. Stay Fido. <laughs> and then we have the last couple of sheets with the butterflies. I mean, tell me they are not just gorgeous. And then, oh my gosh, look at that peacock paper. So, wow. And then, of course, that was a sheet that came with our um, our collection. Um, a couple, a few samples, but trust me, I'm, I'm going to bet money if you Google, I mean, if you look on Pinterest or, you know, Google it, you're going to find a lot more samples. But look at that. Look at that beautiful step card done there with the violin. Just, wow. It just, what are we going to do with this? Right? Anyway, guys, I'm going to go because I have to go deal with the trash still and get this out before the trash, the trash man cometh today so thanks a lot for hanging with me i hope you enjoyed this i think this is back in stock anything that's still in stock i will link you down below keep an eye on it. even if it's not in stock now know this this is kind of what i found to be true that if they don't completely remove it from the page there's a good chance hsn will restock it but also it will show up on craft stash so i'll go look there as well for any of these if i can get you a link i'll hook you up with a link so you have an option and there, of course, there's Crafter's Companion, but I'm putting, I'm, I'm waiting to see. I already ordered something from their warehouse sale for Crafter's Companion. That's been over, um, a week and chump. It's not two weeks and I'll correct it. I'll in post editing. I'll, I'll let you know how long ago exactly I ordered. And I still even had not had a delivery, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, notification. I mean, not delivery, but shipping notification and it's coming from the U S warehouse. Just saying. And that is my problem with Crafters Companion and their shipping from straight for them, even if you have the discounts. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. That's just my personal opinion. If you're impatient, then you, if you can exert patience, and you're like, oh my God, I have to have it now. Then knock yourself out. I've got a simple, I have um, 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 a scrapbooking made simple from their huge warehouse sale in um, April. I'm still waiting on that order, but I knew. I know her. She says it. She, Stacy's super blatant about that. I, it will ship when it ships. That's their policy. She said that it were, their goal was to have, to have everything shipped before they have the October warehouse sale. So I'm going to trust that that's the case. And everything I ordered was kind of like Christmas related. So with any luck, it's going to come before Christmas. But if not, it'll come when it comes. But I knew. So they're open about that. So I, you know, maybe I need to train crafters companion the same way. I know they take forever. All right, get over it. So there you go. That's just my two cents worth. Me dos centavos. So anyway, guys, again, thanks a lot for hanging out with me. I hopefully you enjoyed looking at all of these goodies and hopefully what I make with them soon. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to let you go. If you did, please drop me a note. Give me a like. Tell a friend that there's this crazy woman on, on um, YouTube and you'll love watching her, hopefully. <laughs> Okay, guys, I would appreciate it. My goal, I, and I said this in my last video, my goal is a 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It's a humble goal. I don't need to be the next phenom. I'm not the next phenom. I, I, I just, I want to see that number. And that's just, I mean, I already filled the jumbo jet. I wonder what a 1,000 fills, a cruise ship? I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, thanks a lot, all right? And I'm going to let you go. Remember, if you still want to see more of this madness, then subscribe, ring the bell, and I will be back with more stuff. All right, guys. Meanwhile, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to get to doing stuff and I will talk to y'all later. See you at the next one. And don't forget, we are all a little bad here. So come craft the madness with me. Okay. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye.